In this video I will share my experience with the Polestar 2 after owning it for two months and driving over 5000 kilometers with the car. Has it been without issues and most important, am I happy with the car? Let's find out! And by the way, if you enjoy my content, please consider to hit like and subscribe to support my channel. Thanks! You have probably seen a lot of review videos online already, so I won't go into all the details about this car. But let me tell you about some of the features that I really like. Number one, the driving experience. For me it's a fun car to drive, even without the performance pack. It feels sporty and the acceleration is great, but it offers good comfort too. Number two. The infotainment system with Google Assistant. The setup with two screens work really well. You have all the info you need in front of you while driving, which I think is a really good thing. You can keep your eyes on the road and still see everything you need just behind the wheel. If you need to adjust heating or the seat heating or uh, maybe change songs on Spotify, you can just ask Google to do that, which works really well. I really like the clean setup of the infotainment system. It's just really well made. The Harman Kardon sound system sounds really good too. Number three, the design. The car looks great, period. In my eyes, there are no EV in this price range that is even close. The car just looks great. Number four, the driver profiles. I really like how the car adjusts itself to which driver is driving the car. So your seat is always as you want it to be. And the mirrors are always adjusted. Spotify is ready for you to play your songs and so on. It's really a good feature. Number five, the tow bar. I live in Norway and we love to tow stuff. My original criteria when looking for a new EV was actually that it had great design, 4x4, and a tow bar with a decent capacity. The Polestar 2 was actually the first car I found that met all those criteria. I am very happy with the car so far, but there has been some issues. Annoying bugs and even missing features. For instance, there is no app available for the car. You cannot start preheating from your phone. You cannot use phone as key or any other remote features. According to Polestar, the app won't be ready for release until spring 2021. The missing app is actually quite a big disappointment uh, as Polestar did make a big selling point of phone as key and all those kind of features when we, with the early marketing of this car and you would expect a car like this to have a ready app in 2020. When we reached about a thousand kilometers with the car we had some issues. The AC broke down also the ACC stopped working and Bluetooth driver profiles and some other features. I delivered the car to the repair shop uh, where it spent six days. Uh, we got a free of charge loaner Volvo in the meantime and uh, I haven't had issues like that ever since. I also experienced some noises like rattling noises when driving. This area behind me here can sometimes make a really annoying sound. The same goes for the area around the steering column. I really hope they will be able to fix it because these sounds are really, they can be really 
annoying and you don't want to add in a new car so this car is brand new with new software I guess and as always with new software comes bugs and this car is no exception um, one of the most annoying bugs that I've experienced is that the driver profiles doesn't all, always work so it's supposed to and this is kind of one of the main features for me I really like it when it works but it's really I hate it when it doesn't work and so we are two drivers on this car and we have each our own key so the way it works is that when I get into the car if the seat is adjusted to the other driver's position it will automatically change back to my position and it's a great feature when it works but it's super annoying when it doesn't work and I have to do all the manual adjustments and that's not good it should work like that it should just a feature like that should just work always another issue I've had is with 4G and in this car you really need your internet connection because features like Spotify uh, Google Assistant relies on internet connection and it's important that it works over the two months I've owned this car there has been a few days actually where there has been no internet connection so we I really hope they can fix this in a future software update or if it's on their infrastructure I'm not sure but we need a stable 4G in the car another issue another bug I see is that you when you set the car up to stop charging at 80% it still charges to 100% so that's another bug and I'm sure they will fix it in a future software update this car has this pixel LED headlights which are really good and there is a feature where they should automatically dim when you meet traffic on my car this feature doesn't work and I'm sure they will be able to fix it but I did ask them to fix it last time the car was in the shop and for some reason they didn't my car is going to the shop for updates on the coming Tuesday so I really hope that they will fix some of these bugs I am pretty confident that Polestar is working overtime to fix the bugs and the software issues and that all this small issues will be improved in future updates even though they are annoying the car works really well let's talk about efficiency the car is not efficient as you've probably seen on other YouTube videos where people like Tesla Bjorn has been testing the efficiency of the car and it's not good um, so of course this car, the Polestar 2, can't compete with uh, the Tesla Model 3 on range. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, this car is better in every other aspect. So I guess we have to compromise at some things. And unfortunately, range was it for this car. So to conclude, am I happy with the car? Oh, yes, I'm really happy with the car. Any questions or comments about this car? Leave them below and I'll try to answer as good as I can. See you.